Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Maluncha, and welcome back to New World. We are here still in Brightwood because we have two more quests that we need to complete, two more side quests. And one is here with our good old friend Sole Bankole. So, yeah, let's see what our pastor has to you say. Have ushered in a new dawn here in Brightwood. I wonder if you might like a fit, fitting emblem, a staff of life, a very potent one. And where would I find the staff? Well, you would not find such a thing. Not for many centuries now. But I can show you to remake it. Take this list of the elements required and then you can make the staff. Hope manifests. 2700 XP, 134 gold. That's actually not too bad. Travel to the Silly Stake in Restless Shore to collect Mender's Cloth. Where are Restless Shore? Where the hell is Restless Shore? Restless Shore. Where the hell do we need to go? Silly Stake. Fourteen collects uh, Mender's cloth from lost enemies. So we're gonna need to beat fourteen different enemies. Well, it shouldn't be all that hard. Let's see. Basically, just a common drop. Yo! Let's try to at least hit all of them. Let's see how many actually drop it. Because in this way, getting 14 drops is actually not that bad. One, two, three, four, five. All right, already got six. So yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> collect a little, little more. And then uh, I'll bring you guys back to see what the next part is that we need to collect because we're gonna need to collect a couple parts farmer's pants oh okay first part is completed was well, yeah pretty easy if uh, somebody pulls like four or five mobs together and basically aoe them down uh so collect items used to craft the hope manifest travel to katara falls in great cleave to collect suit sayers salve and that is quite a while away holy crap yeah it is uh requires well level 50 it says this is the location we need to be hope uh katara falls 15 suit slayers salve from ancient guardian enemies so any type of enemy probably will do So let's see if these two drop it. It says level 50, but there are level 40 enemies. Yeah, too, so it doesn't matter which ones we kill. We don't want to go in too far, because yeah, if they spawn in my back and it's going to be too many, that's going to be a wipe. So I'm going to keep myself busy here, killing 15 of these Dudes. Yeah, and this is also again what I mentioned. We already pulled four people. Crap. Okay, let's go. I wish I had an AOE damage ability as a healer. Yo, 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 yo. Give me a heal. There we go. They keep pouring in! Come on! It's not like I'm dying, but... <laughs> yeah, leveling up as a healer sometimes, you do wonder, like... How much faster is it to actually heal up, uh... Well, level up with, like, a weapon. <laughs> there we go! One more down! Come on! Let's heal up! And we pulled more! Holy crap, yeah, this is what I exactly what I meant with. I'm not sure how many loot bags I already got here. But I think I'm already halfway. Heal up.
Give herself some mana. Okay, how many did we collect so far? Okay, seven, so eight out of 15. Yeah, it was uh, pretty fast. So seven more to go. Did get everything, right? Yeah, I got everything. The last one. There we go. So travel to Aradanus in Restless Shore to collect Merry Breath. 4.4 kilometers away. Restless Shore. Merry Breath. Depths. Started landmark. Seems our uh, location is this, uh, this temple, Aradanus. And we need to collect 16 Mercy Breath from Angry Earth enemies. There are a lot of them. Well, there are some of them. Oh, and it's elite. It's an elite zone. Okay, this might actually take rather some time. This might actually take some time. Unless uh, some people come over here and assist me. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna keep myself busy with actually beating one at a time. Else, yeah, if I get like three or four enemies on me, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Holy crap. And there's an archer as well. Of course, I pulled an archer. Yo, 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 yo. Make sure we keep healing. <laughs> Yo! Nice jump attack, dude. Nice jump attack. Oh, and another one spawned. Holy crap. That's not good. That's not good. We need to beat at least one. There we go. So yeah, like I said, this is gonna take a while and another one spawned. Yeah, this is definitely good. Or he's he summoned them, I think. Okay, let's uh, get a little bit away. See if they come to me before I pull those other two. Archer game. That's good. Let's, uh, like I said, kill them one by one because if I pull too many, I'm dead meat. I still need to pick up that baggy before it disappears. Pick up this one at least. Where's the other one? Over there. I'm dead! Ho ho ho! I kinda knew it. I kinda knew it. And I keep I keep forgetting my my health potions that I have. I've got like health potions, mana potions, and mana and health potions, and I keep forgetting them. So yeah, this might actually take a while. We've got one out of 16. <laughs> I'll bring you guys back once I uh once I reach the last one. And the last one. There we go. So uh, yeah, in group, uh, it is a lot easier <laughs> than it is solo. Holy crap. So I'm gonna check out what we are gonna do next. And it is travel to Vela in Morningsdale to collect Hope Catalyst. Okay, Hope Catalyst. Where the hell do we go? Oh, a zone we have not been to. So yeah, I'm first gonna go, of course, towards the settlement. So I can at least fast travel there later on. And we made it into Morningdale, was it? Morningdale. So let's check out what zone this is. So far, pretty colorful. A lot of runes, apparently. What I can see. 
do wonder if that is a road you can travel on i do believe so because there's like a temple all the way up top yeah definitely looking forward to checking out all the vistas here in morningdale but yeah for now we are running towards uh our settlement so we have the fast travel there yeah and roll. yeah uh if you didn't know yet if you jump off something you basically roll and you can uh, instantly start running again if you ch don't jump off something you do like um uh, what is it uh the, the pin as uh, so a, a move like ah <laughs> oh, come on why can i not come come at the name that i wanna um it's like when superman lands and he bumps his fist into the ground like a, a hero landing yeah hero landing that was <laughs> what i was looking for holy crap look at this place angel music in the background definitely definitely looks nice definitely looks nice and this is uh, already a completely different weather than we saw earlier ago and apparently this is the location we need to be level 50 mobs no elites i think because they are dying rather fast well not fast but proficiently i guess you could say and we need to collect bone shatter so i do presume that's like one enemy <laughs> that we are gonna need to locate well, let's uh clear the way till we actually know where he is Level 50, still gotta be careful. I actually don't die again. Let's see, 78 meters, he's gonna be inside of the temple. Yeah, this is what makes the respawn a little bit annoying. Uh, basically, those guys over there are gonna respawn. Yeah, this guy respawned as well. There is actually no way for Solo to... Can I go up here? If they can't follow, let's try to do this. There we go. They can't follow up here. Let's just skip them. You stay long enough on a platform, they can't reach. They basically go back to the location where they came from. Heal ourselves up. And that way you can actually skip a bunch of mobs. That's a scout. And yeah, we're definitely going to need to be... Archer, Enforcer, definitely gonna need to be inside. Still not at the top. <laughs> Holy crap. Bone Shatter, Shattering, there he is. That's the dude we need to beat. Yo! Oh, let's not, not blend pushes off. Let's pull him a little bit down here against the wall that we can't get pushed off kind of don't want to stick around here either because the other dudes yeah look at that they can respawn and get back to us Gotta pay attention to our mana, don't drop off. Mana, health, mana, yeah, thank you. Almost got him. Come on, baby, die for me. Keep those heals up. Got him. Now for this little Avenger, yeah, you can avenge your master or at least try to. A loot there we go got an ancient urn collect items then craft hope manifest visit an arcane station and create hope manifest so let's open the chests that we still have here and then let's uh, see if we can actually teleport back home do want to see how high well it's actually pretty okay I thought this was gonna be higher all right let's see if we can actually this recall yes let's recall perfect 
And the next part is a visit an arcane station done and create hope manifest. Ooh, look at that. Eh. So little focus. Basic attack hits trigger a lightning chain that bounces between. Okay, refreshing reduces max cooldowns. That's actually pretty good. But it has lower focus, I think, than the ones I'm using. And it also says required level 51. And yeah, it already has attribute chem and perk slot, so we cannot put any Azoth in it to actually make him better. But yeah, we need to craft them anyway, so let's just do that. 1410. Continue to craft. Yeah, we can't craft the second time. There we go. We've unlocked corrupted life staff. Sole Bancole! There is the new light of Brightwood. And you found everything you needed, yes? With that staff in hand, you are the very thing. Hope manifest. Brightness will follow wherever you go. Complete the che the, <laughs> the chest, I wanted to say. The quest! <laughs> no gear that we actually can use, guys. But yeah, this is where I'm gonna wrap up this video. I'm gonna sit my ass down where we started the video. There we go. If you wanna see more of my quest progression or my let's play here in New World, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.